Guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking at the new addition to the garage. We have a 2016 Ford F-150. I'm going to go through, kind of give you a, just a quick overview of this truck. Now, this truck, if you've been watching the channel for a little bit, this actually looks a little bit like the last truck I had. I had a, a 2018 F-150 XLT. This is a 16 F-150 XLT. And I want to show you some of the things on this thing. Now, guys, this was the one of the cheapest... 2016 F-150s in the country, probably the highest mileage too. Check this out. Where are you finding just what a Check out that mileage, 266.024. I mean, qu quite a few miles. This runs surprisingly well. No mechanical issues with it right now. Um, it's had regular maintenance, so that's really going to help quite a bit. So, all right, this has the flip-up seat in the middle, heated seats, a 302A package. Trailer backup assist, four-wheel drive. But yeah, mileage. I, uh, this thing's running pretty good for the mileage it has on it. All right, the whole purpose of this truck is I wanted to buy something that was basically, you know, somewhat recent. This is only a five-year-old truck, but it's got a lot of miles on it. But I was looking for something that was going to be, you know, relatively affordable, something I can use to kind of just use basic truck for. This isn't my daily driver. I'm not going to be driving this a ton, so I just needed something to maybe kind of fill that void when I need a truck occasionally. So I bought this out of state. I just got back a couple days ago from driving this back from out of state, uh, but this was by far the cheapest one I could find. Now, this has the 2.7 liter EcoBoost V6 twin turbo engine in it, which is a pretty popular motor. And it turns out to be pretty reliable. Okay, so here we go. Here's just kind of an exterior overview of the car. Now, the truck came with these other rims here. Let me show you these rims it came with. So it came with these rims. These are the factory 18-inch wheels. These 20s that are on there now, I actually just threw these on because I had these left over from my other truck. I put some off-road wheels on. So these are not stock to this truck. These are like the Lariat 20-inch wheels that came from like 18 to 20 you, you know, model year 18, 19, 20. These were an option for like Lariat. There was an option for XLT. That's how I got them on my my truck. I kept these because I was trying to sell them, but I couldn't couldn't get anyone to pay what I was asking for. Tread's still decent on these. So that's kind of my first, that was my, really my first improvement on this. So it makes it look a lot better. I don't like those 18s. I'm going to get rid of those. So this thing's got a ton of miles on it, but the, the good thing was is I bought this from a dealer, a Ford dealer, where this truck was purchased new. So a guy bought this truck new from a Ford dealer, got it serviced there regularly, and then traded into the same dealer. So there's an extended service history on this truck. It hasn't had any major mechanical failures, like the, the transmission's original, the engine turbos are all, all original. However, it's had things like timing chains, it's had uh, the exhaust, it's had the catalytic converters, O2 sensors, things like that along the line. It's had, it's had things like that. But as far as major mechanical breakdowns, problems, this has not had it. So that's that's kind of gave me a little more assurance buying one with such high mileage is that it ha has been regularly maintained and, you know, things like that have been taken care of along the way. Now, one thing this thing probably needs uh, that it's in need of is the front suspension. Now, I would suspect, I don't know, um, I didn't see anything in the service history about suspension work, shocks struts springs anything like that so i mean it doesn't handle that great you know it does track down the line it does drive pretty straight but you know shocks they show if i had to guess i would think the shocks are still the factory shocks from brand new so i the, the shocks definitely get replaced and then as far as getting the front end sorted out we need to figure out like which components you know, tie rod ends, ball joints, things like that. Control arms need to get replaced to get it working, working good. Paint's okay. You see up front here, there's some rock chipping up front. The hood actually looks like it was recently replaced or or, or repainted because there's the, the hood's almost perfect. But uh, along the driver's side, you can see these little dots. There's some rock chipping along the side. And the one thing I'm going to address today, and I'm going to take you along on this, but there's some scratching here. I'm trying to see if I can get a good angle there. Okay, you can see, see there's, a scratch, there's a scratch. That looks like a, looks like a dog scratching that. A couple scratches there. Door handle there. 
a lot of just swirl and scratch around. I mean, this thing's probably had a lot of car washes along the way. Um, well, that's just, but it needs it needs a little bit of attention. So that's one thing I'm going to work on today is really just I'm going to do a clay bar. I'm going to we're going to polish it. We're going to do some scratch remover removal in some areas, and then uh, give it a coat of wax. See if we can bring this paint back to a, a nice finish. And then once you stay tuned to the channel, over the next couple uh, months, I'm going to be working on this truck, just kind of getting everything refreshed on it. Now, mechanically, I don't think mechanically, it's really not in need of a whole lot mechanically. Engine runs good. I, I drove over a 1,000 miles to drive this thing back home. So it actually drove really well. The suspension was a little off, I could tell. It needs this, some, you know, steering, refreshing stuff, shocks, things like that. But as far as the motor is concerned, starting, I mean, everything everything else is in, in great working order. So really, it's just kind of the cosmetic stuff and some of the suspension that we're going to work on. So why don't you stay tuned to the channel? Be sure to subscribe. I'm going to do an update. We're going to work on this thing, get this thing kind of polished up, looking better, uh, driving better, and really do some maintenance. So I want to re replace like some of the spark plugs, water pump, just kind of just, just do some like preventive maintenance fluids and things like that just to kind of get everything up to date so I know where everything's at and uh, that way you know I have a little more confidence it's not gonna leave me stranded so thanks for watching the channel guys I'm gonna I'm gonna get started on the polishing so stay tuned to that